Okay, so to start this problem here for 5.2, I need to write that in order. So let's write it in order here. That's 8x squared minus 10x plus 3. All right, because I have a number out in front, this is how I know that I'm going to need to do slide and divide. And by number, I mean a number that is not a 1. So this is slide and divide. So I take 8 and I slide it over. And that gives me x squared minus 10x plus 24. OK. And this is a good problem. The reason why it's a good problem is let's list all the multiples of 24. I can have 1 and 24. I can have 2 and 12. I can have 3 and 8 and 4 and 6. So when we go through this, I need to figure out which ones add together to give me negative 10. 1 plus 24? Nope, that's 25. 2 plus 12 is 14? Nope. 3 plus 8 is 11? Nope. 4 plus 6 is 10? Nope. None of them work. So what that tells me is none of these factors work. Is there any factors I'm forgetting? Is there anything I'm forgetting? Well, you better believe it. Because 1 times 24 does give you 24, but there's something else. How about negative 1 and negative 24? Right? A negative times a negative is a positive. How about negative 2 and negative 12? Those work. All right, those will give me 24. How about negative 3 and negative 8? Those will multiply to give me 24. And negative 4 and negative 6, they'll multiply to give me 24 as well. And when it turns out, this also down here, that adds together to give you negative uh, 10. So when I separate this, I separate it into x minus 4, because it's a negative 4, and x minus 6. But here's the problem. I slid or I slide by 8, so now I need to divide by 8. So with this, I can take a 4 out of the top and the bottom. So that gives me x minus 1 over 2. And this, I can divide each of those by 2. So that gives me x minus 3 over 4. Remember, we can't have fractions. So I move the 2 out. So that gives me a 2x minus 1. And I move the 4 out because we can't have a fraction, so that gives me a 4x minus 3. And there is our two factors in parentheses. Okay, so taking a look at another one 15x squared, I gotta write it in order, minus 22x minus 5. I got a number out in front, so let's slide and divide, right? Slide and divide, so slide that over. So I end up getting x squared minus 22x and 15 times a negative 5. That gives me a negative 75. So quickly in my head, you can sit there and try to think of all of them, but what comes to mind to me is negative 25 and positive 3. Negative 25 times 3 is negative 75. Negative 25 plus 3 is negative 22. So this goes into x minus 25 and x plus 3. So because I slide by 15, I need to divide these by 15. And I realize that I can take a 5 out of both the top and the bottom of those. So it gives me x minus 5 over 3. And I divide both of those by 3. So I end up getting x plus 1 over 5. So I move that because we can't have fractions and factors. It's a 3x minus 5. And I move that, so I get 5x plus 1. And there's the factors for that one. All right. So taking a look back now, taking a look back, 
This one doesn't have, this has a one out in front, right? So because it has a one out in front, that means I can just jump the gun. I can just write this right away and fill in my factors. What two numbers multiply to give you 81 that also add to give you 18? Well, on the top of my head, negative 9 and negative 9, right? When you add them, you get negative 18. When you multiply them, you get 81. So x minus 9 and x minus 9. What this is covering up that you can't see is that it equals 0. So basically what I'm asking you to do is, how do you solve those? That's what I'm saying there. How do we solve these? Well, it's actually very simple. Whenever you have it set up equal to 0, that means you set each of those equal to 0. Because look at it like this. If I made this equal 0, 0 times anything is 0. If I made this one equal 0, 0 times anything is 0. So if I separate each of these to equal 0 and solve, whatever I have left over is my answers. So with this, it means I add 9 to both sides. So the 9's cross out. And I got 9 as my answer. I add 9 to both sides over here. It means the 9's cross out. I get x equals 9 as my answer. And even though they're the same, it's still two answers, x equals 9 and x equals 9. All righty. Let's see how many more we have. We have three more problems there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and do the word problems uh, separately. So. Uh, when we come back here, we will finish factoring in 5.2.